Hey, what's up guys? This is iTech World 11 and the iOS 7 City of Jailbreak came out recently, and these are my top 5 starting jailbreak tweaks to get for 2013 and 14. Now, the first one is called Activator, which you can find for free in Cydia. Now, this is still in beta, so it's not going to work perfectly, but I found it works pretty well. And it basically allows you to create shortcuts for anything you want. Now, the reason I really like this is because I set so whenever I hold down the home button while in the lock screen, it will unlock my device. Now, I have a video on this, so you can check it out in the description. But this basically allows you to get Touch ID on an iPhone 5 or any device besides the iPhone 5S. So all you have to do is hold down the home button while you're in the lock screen and it will unlock. So you can set any type of shortcuts you want. You're not just limited to that. You can set different shortcuts to get to different menus and things just like that. The next thing I have for you is called Switch Spring. And this is really cool. This allows you to uh, quit all your apps, recently opened apps, by swiping up on the home card or tile. And you can see that they're all gone. So this allows you to quickly manage and delete your recently used apps for freeing up space, memory, and helps you run your iPhone a little bit quicker and faster overall. And this is free in the Cydia store. Now the next thing I have for you is called Burst Mode, which is also free, and all these are free. You go ahead and install this, and basically it gives you the iPhone 5S Burst Mode capabilities. Now it's not going to be quite as fast as the iPhone 5, as you, or I should say it's not quite as fast as the 5S. You see I took about 19 pictures right there. Uh, it doesn't work super well, but it gives you the same functionality. You can use all of your pictures that you took in that burst mode and choose the best one, or you can go ahead and delete all 19 at one time. And I'm not really sure how far you can go with this. I presume you could get uh, maybe up to a thousand, just like with the iPhone 5S. The next thing I have for you is one that hasn't worked super well, and this is called Icon Renamer. Now be aware this may crash your phone, so you, if you could hold off on this a little bit um, until it gets more support, I would. However, it might be able to work for you, and this is called Icon Renamer. It allows you to rename your icons, but again, this isn't working too well for me. It occasionally works, but when this gets more development, it's a really cool jailbreak tweak to have. The next thing I want to show you is something you probably already saw, and this is called Fake Carrier, and as you guessed, it allows you to put a fake carrier. Now, you can't change the signal strength as you used to be able to, and you download this free app from Cydia, and you can change your carrier very quickly just by going in there, changing the text, and setting it, and it works perfectly and beautifully, and I really like it. So thanks for watching, definitely subscribe, and let me know what other videos you want to see. You can check out some of my other iOS 7 jailbreak videos in the description, and I'll see you later. Enjoy your holidays, and I'll see you later.